So here at Painton Zoo, we look after all sorts of exotic animals, but we also had prehistoric animals here. Indeed, this place has been rich in natural history for millennia, and evidence of that can be found beneath my feet. We have an underground cave system here at Paynton Zoo and it's near our nature trail in Clendon Gorge which you can have a walk around on your visit. There are three main cave systems here on site. You've got Snake Cave, which is the largest of the three in terms of cave system. You've got Neil's Cave or the Lynx Cave, which was excavated in the 50s, finding lynx remains, which is where it gets that name. And then you have Quarry Face Cave. During the main excavations of the cave done by Neil and Sutcliffe in 1958-59, they found an abundance of mammalian remains. Those of horse, reindeer, red fox, hare, wolf, red deer, lynx, badger and mole. And the archive for these excavations can be found in the London Museum of Natural History. The lack of domestic species within these remains suggests that the bones were Mesolithic or late glacial in period. In fact, one of the horse bones produced a late glacial radiocarbon date of 10,600 to 10,100 BCE, suggesting that this horse was around during the Younger Dryas climatic event, a period of rapid cooling during the late Pleistocene. As you can tell, Torbay is an amazing area for natural history. From way back when to even now, there's been lots of wildlife in this area. And the fact that we have this unique geology as well is why we are designated a UNESCO Geopark site. Because of this, Painton Zoo is situated in an area where you can touch a very special part of Earth's history. You can be amazed by the beautiful landscapes and the wonders of animals, both old and new. And that is where we come to enter now. Our cave systems are home to protected bat species, the greater horseshoe and lesser horseshoe bats. Every month, our reserves warden surveys the caves to assess the number of the bat species within. This isn't easy work, as well as squeezing through tight spaces and climbing along slippery surfaces without the ability to stand in some places. You also have to make sure that when counting bats, you don't count the same individual twice. Every step you take deeper into a cave, the environment around you changes. The shadows and reflections change dramatically with the light of your torch. And unfortunately, no, you can't take big lights in with you for this work. Bats are very sensitive to light and temperature, and it's important that we don't wake them up as we move around the cave system. The data that is collected at Paynton Zoo is reported to the National Bat Monitoring Programme, NBMP, run by the Bat Conservation Trust. It is an annual series of bat surveys undertaken by thousands of dedicated volunteers. It allows the NBMP to monitor changes in British bat population. The data is used by the government and conservation organisations to monitor the health of our environment, inform policy and improve the conservation of our native species. Of the bats in our cave systems, the greater horseshoe bat is the larger of the two. It's around six to seven centimetres long and has a wingspan of 35 to 40 centimetres. They weigh around 34 grams and they live to about 30 years old. This species is protected in the UK under the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981. And that's why we're careful not to disturb them as we do our surveys. The species can also be found in old houses, churches and barns, disused mines, tunnels and cellars. The lesser horseshoe bat is smaller than their greater relatives. They're around four to five centimetres long, have a wingspan of 20 to 25 centimetres, and they only weigh up to nine grams. But they do live to about 30 years old, just like the greater horseshoe bat, and they're protected under the same act and found in very similar places to their greater relatives. 
In our caves, you'll also find invertebrates. So look away now if you don't like creepy crawlies. The European cave spiders are well camouflaged being dark brown and black. So they can be tricky to spot at first. They are a species of long-jawed orb-weaving spider and is also known as the orb-weaving cave spider and the cave orb weaver. These spiders enjoy a diet ranging from flies to wood lice, millipedes to slugs. The white ball-like creations made by these spiders is actually an egg sac that holds hundreds of tiny little spiderlings. These nests are often found near the entrance of a cave system despite the adult spider's aversion to light. This is because when the juvenile spiders hatch, they are instinctively attracted to that light and they will disperse and colonise different areas away from the parents. The herald moth is another species that frequent the Paynton Zoo caves. It is an unmistakable and distinctive moth with broad, strongly hooked forewings that have scalloped edges and white cross lines. The wings are dark greyish brown with colourful orange blotches near the base and centre of the forewings. Mature herald moths spend winter in caves, barns or outbuildings. They're most often found feeding after dark on flowers and overripe berries. Now it's important to note that this cave trip was undertaken by experienced staff here at Paynton Zoo with previous experience in caving and it was in a well mapped and documented cave system. Now of course you may be inspired to go into a cave system to look for these wonderful and amazing creatures but it's important that you don't go alone. Speleology, caving and potholing are all terms for the same activity, the discovery and exploration of caves. There's more than likely a local caving group or speleological society near you. So make sure that you check them out and get in contact with them if you want to experience caves or mines safely. Bat Conservation Trust also states that to take part in one of these hibernation surveys, you need to hold a bat license or know someone who has a bat license to accompany you on one of these trips. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've learned something new about Wild Planet Trust and Paynton Zoo. And if you've got any favorite facts, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And hit the bell notification to keep up to date with any new videos that we have coming out. But for now, thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.